Yeah, so here's where we left off. So we put that uh, layer shader on the auto ring. So now let's uh, take a quick render uh, and see how that looks. So let me open up the render window here and let's uh, go to the render options. And let's uh, set the uh, resolution back to 1K square. And we got the default lighting set up here. So yeah, let's uh, just uh, go here to render and say render with a perspective camera. Uh, let's see how that looks. All right, so what I see from here is um, that those numbers are not black, what they should be. So let's uh, check out our Lambert shader. Um, let me go to hi open up hyper shading uh, as well. So the chrome works fine. That's what I see from here. So the chrome shader here is working all right. So let's go to the Lambert here and let's uh, drop down the color here to black. And now let's take another render and see if that helps. Yeah. So now we have uh, our black numbers here um, and the chrome and the background and that's exactly what we wanted. So if you want to have some reflectivity on the black uh, numbers here, we could change this from Lambert to Blin or Fong or whatever we want to. Okay, so now let's, uh, yeah, let's just uh, leave it like it is for now and let's take care about the rest of our scene here. Um, uh, I just hit five on my keyboard to turn that texture off. Okay, let me go here to the channel box, and let's uh, think what we are, what we want to do next. So we have, um, yeah, two pieces uh, left that we have to shade. Um, that's the one thing is the inner ring, and that's uh, the thing we take care about now. And the other thing is uh, the wristband, or the uh, some parts of the wristband. All right, so now let's take care um, about that inner ring here. So let me go to low poly view here, and. Um, yeah, let's check out the uh, UVs. So go to the UV texture editor, and we created those UVs earlier. So now we take a UV snapshot of this. So go in here on the polygon, say UV snapshot, and again we are using a 4K map, um, and we call this inner ring underscore out UV and say OK. It should give us the mes message down here that it saved it out so we can close the texture editor. So now we go in um, Photoshop again and we will create uh, a bump map. So let me pause the video and I will open up Photoshop. Yeah, here in Photoshop we bring in that uh, UV snapshot. In our ring out UV, let's bring that in. And in here we create some text and yeah we want to, to create uh, the um, Rolex logo so we take the text tool and we're using again the Baskerville old face uh, font here uh, there it is and let's let me drag that in um, I think I'm gonna I need a bigger one here so let me drag in bigger one like this and then uh, we want to give this a white color that's all right so type in in capital letters Rolex okay this obviously has to be scaled up so let's try to give it a bigger bigger font here let's try something like 300 it's still not big enough or First, let me zoom in on that guy. So we have a fairly large um, UV snapshot here. That should help later on with the uh, with the bump itself. So what we could do is, yeah, just give it something like uh, 300. Let's try something 350. And let's check that out. Okay, let me uh, quick switch to Maya and check out the inner ring. Um, and the UVs are from 
Let me check out the UV texture editor here. So if I select those faces here in the UV texture editor, go to face here and select those. So it starts way up here. If I smooth that, yeah, so it's in between those lines. So let me go back to Photoshop. And let's uh, drop that down here to uh, 320. Like that. Yeah, that should work fine. And now we have to, um, if we say Control T, so hit Enter. Um, yeah, we have to bring this right into the center here, and then we have to uh, tweak that here a little bit. So let's uh, try to uh, bring this here a little bit wider, and let's uh, dial this up here. Something like 150% should work fine, and this is set to hundred and this is set to a hundred and ten yeah let's try something like a hundred here within this thing yeah okay all right so now let's um, bring it here uh, so I'm looking here at the uh, edge here and the auto part here so that this is um, the distance between this end here and uh, this piece has uh, al almost the same distance here. Okay, so let me let me move that guy. So I'm using my arrow keys now and move this pixel by pixel. Okay, so something like this, and obviously we have to bend this guy. So if you click here on the text tool, you get up here the uh, arc. So let's set it to arc. And this is way too much, so let's drop that down to a smaller number. Um, yeah, let's try something like plus six and uh, bring that guy down. Say OK, so we can change this later on if we want to. So now uh, let's move this guy down again to somewhere in the center here something like this okay now we have um, the one piece done here so we have now to uh, copy this so uh, hold down uh, alt and shift and then you move it down here to almost the same pos position uh, as it is up here and we repeat the process here on both sides and uh, yeah so that um, we have the Rolex uh, text here on every piece of that uh, UV snapshot. So let me pause the video and I'll be back when I'm done with that. So right, so this took one or two minutes to finish uh, that up. So now let's hide, the, let's hide the background here. And now what we do is we create another layer and then we fill that layer with black. So uh, switch here to black and take the paint bucket tool and fill that layer with black. And now we have to bring that layer under our text here. So move it down here, somewhere about here. And uh, so the layer one here, I can delete that. So that's what I created accidentally. Okay, so with that um, in place here, so we save this thing out here. So save as, um, we save this again as a targa. Um, Entering bump map. All right, save save this out, and there you go. So now we can uh, close uh, Photoshop and go back to Maya and uh, bring this bump map on a shader.